Hey, in this video, let's see what it takes to quickly cut a head um, out from an existing mesh. So for example, if I grab this male, that's in every ZBrush, right? The new updated uh, ZBrush has this default character called male.zpr. If I double click on it, I could see ZBrush gives me uh, this really nice uh, male model, right? And now if I go to geometry, I can see that the model is currently subdivided to three levels, right? And if you press uh, polyframe, you can actually see that level three has 252,000 points. If I go to level one, it only has 15,000. But what if I'm just creating something uh, specific and I just want the head? I don't want the entire mesh of this character. What would be a fast way to chop his head off? So um, the best way to do it, I believe, there's many different uh, ways. Of course, in ZBrush, you can do everything a hundred different times, different ways. But what I would do is just grab uh, the Z modeler brush and just simply hover on the loop where you want to make the cut. So maybe something like this, if you want to uh, maybe cut the head right here. So I'm going to press spacebar. And now if I go to polygroup, I can actually select something called poly loop, right? And now if I click on the poly loop, oops, you want to pay attention to which way the little uh, line is pointing, right? So I want to go all the way around this way. So I'm going to press that and it selects the entire loop for me, right? And now what I need to do is make sure that the entire body is also the same um, poly group color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press spacebar. Next, if I set uh, select poly group island, right, this is going to grab an entire island, which is all the um, red polygons below this line is called an island because they're all connected. So now if I just simply press spacebar and poly group still selected with poly group island. I can just simply click and it doesn't matter. It doesn't really uh, matter which way this line is facing, right? So right now it's going to face, let me zoom in so you guys can see, uh, down, left, right, doesn't matter. But if I click on it, you can see that the entire island has been selected. So now essentially we have the body and the head separated. And now if we needed to, we can hold down control and shift and just simply click on the, uh, mesh and then click on it again to just hide the body and reveal the head and now if you want to simply delete hidden you can go to geometry and modify topology and there's the button right there delete hidden i actually have it dragged on my ui because i use it all the time so if i press on it you can see now we're only left with the head now if i press f on the keyboard and press f again uh, I can frame my uh, remaining mesh. And if you wanted to, you can also, um, I do this a lot of times, go to display properties and turn on double just so you can see the entire mesh. So that's how easy it is to chop uh, up pieces that you might need that have nice topology. And now you can export this as a tool and bring it maybe into a different um, project and marry it with different different uh, other pieces and elements. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next video.